preparation in the right way. We spend more time on, on equipment and training and, and, uh, and legal methods uh, than anybody else. And every time we've chose to just sit back and let it pass. Uh, but we've sort of reached a point where we, we, we really can't tolerate it anymore. And we're sick and tired of these allegations and we're going to do everything we can uh, to bite them. They're absolutely untrue. Uh, we filed action in England. We filed action in France uh, against everybody involved. And enough is enough. deal with the mystique of a sixth straight tour win and how do you deal emotionally as well as physically with confronting this hurdle that hasn't been surmounted yeah, before for when people maybe <laughs> I get reminded about it all the time I mean it's, it's it's perhaps every 15 minutes that somebody mentions to me number six or the sixth tour or good luck on the sixth or even you're not gonna win the sixth We are in the warehouse of the team and uh, we are trying to take everything to the tool what we need, which is not an easy job. The mechanics have a, an incredibly important and difficult job. That's a lot of pressure. I don't think I would want to do that. After trying to take this with me, almost impossible. It's impossible to ship everything to the tour, and each truck is about 1,000 liters water already. We have uh, three kinds of wheels, so we have 18 pairs of auto wheels, 20 sets of carbon wheels and 13 sets of training wheels and bad conditions wheels. The fourth stage of the tour is with uh, has cobble zones from paris du two strokes. So we put a little bit heavier tires so it's safer to get uh, punctures and uh, the wheels going to be with 32 spokes like this, that's like they call a classic wheel. We have to hurry up with the loading from the trucks and make everything ready because we had an extra six day training camp. That's all the spaghetti I have to buy. <laughs> well, everybody would like to be home today and make the suitcase and go for a haircut and visit some friends and family. But uh, because of the camps and the busy time of the year, we could not do. We have to be here till, till we finish. Done. The games begin. The equipment's perfect. Again, I mean, I think that we've taken care of all that stuff. There's been some changes. There's, we, we, we set aside some projects that we started that won't get used this July. Um, but that's that's not going to be the excuse. We've got the lightest bike in the Peloton. We've got the fastest ET bike in the Peloton. We've got a great helmet. So we had a little hiccup last week, and uh, uh, the UCI asked for some additional documentation before uh, they were going to let the boys ride uh, the new uh, Rev6 time trial helmet. So we had to wake up the entire world and uh, go to work. Anybody want to try one of these? OK, uh, I don't have many uh, medium. I have to go make some. But see if this works. These fit a little different. Too tight? We've been running three eight-hour shifts since Wednesday to get documentation and certification done. And uh, at 5 a.m. this morning, we received that documentation. And now we're going to go ride the world's fastest helmet. See, those? And then when it comes over the years, man, it looks good. What? Looking tricky. When it's over the years, it looks good. We're going to make you look good, I promise. Let's see George. Let's see George. 
It's hard to make me look bad, though, you know? Oh. <laughs> we just did it. <laughs> you just did it yourself. <laughs> Why, yours isn't over to you? It's, you know, Toshi says I have a tall head. That looks good. is to be very chilled out and relaxed with your guys. You don't want to stress them out. Vicky! This guy passed, passed the health control yesterday. No, certainly not. Put it in straight. No, I might have got it. Put it in straight. Like, that looks like your tongue. <laughs> hey, did you notice that that thing to check your lung capacity? Yeah. They were reusing those white things. Oh. Just white. They only had three. There was a guy wiping them with a rag. Oh. Isn't that messed up? <laughs> oh. I'm not kidding. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't joke about that, man. It's not funny. And there's a time where you have to cross over from being uh, relaxed and, and, and tranquil to turning into the animal on the bike. I have the normal period of off-season and sort of goofing around, but everything is set and ready to go. What I learned through last tour was what it's really like to suffer and not necessarily be better than the other guys. It's going to be tough, but I think I'll be there. I think I'll be good. every 15 minutes that somebody mentions to me number six or the sixth tour or good luck on the sixth or even you're not going to win the sixth I mean I had a, I had a passport guy that says you're not going to win the tour I said okay great give me my passport back ass I really love the event I don't think there's much that compares to it. The first year I came, it was just a last minute choice by the team to put in a young guy, and they said, look, you can do a week, you can do 10 days, whatever, you can survive. Clearly, it's very different now than, than then, and, and even 2004 is very different than 1999. That was almost feeling of being a kid, going back to something, and, and just trying something new with, without anything to lose, whereas now I have at least it feels like I have a lot to lose. I think it, it'll be a close race. I think Ulrich is, I think he's back. I think he's good. I think there's a lot of other guys, too, that make the race exciting. It's going to be a, a difficult year to win. I think the first week is going to be more critical than people think. To his Tour de France, will it be a record-breaking race for him? Those legs, once they catch up with the cadence, he just sits there and pumps. Look at the powerhouse from Germany here. He wants to be the number one dog. Lance Armstrong has always regarded this man as the most talented bike rider on the circuit. 97, I thought, oh man, he's going to destroy everybody for a decade. He's a complete rider, he can climb, he can time trial. <laughs> Cycling's gonna be very boring for 10 years. <laughs> In six kilometers of the Tour de France, we have already developed a great battle between these two terrific athletes. Ahead of Ulrich is Hamilton, ahead of Hamilton is Mayo. Paul Ulrich has gone through, same time as Tyler.